Hi, it's your girl, Jean, and I want you to join me today as I have dinner. I am sitting down to some rice, yellow rice, some baked fish, and corn on the cob. And before we begin, let me put a word into your ear, and I pray that it goes into your heart. Because when we put our care in God's hand, he put his peace in our hearts. So if you have any problems today, and it just seemed like the world just got you down, give it all to the Lord. Tell him all about it, and he will help you feel better. Let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Yes, I wanted something kind of simple today. So I wanted fish and I said, okay, how am I going to fix my fish? I said, well, I think I'll bake it. I use lemon pepper seasoning and it's pretty good. How's your day today? Here where we at, it's raining. I like the rain though. I think rain is soothing. You know, sometimes just looking out the window and watching the rain and just listening to the pitter patter on the roof. I think it's soothing. Sometimes when I want to feel closer to God, if I feel like I'm, you know, going through something, I like to go down to the waters, whether it's at the park or at the beach. And I walk along just looking up at the sky, looking at the nature of God and just talking to God, you know. Telling him what's on my mind and, you know, wanting to hear from him. And that's how I sue myself, you know. And usually if I can't get out like today, I basically read. I'm a reader and that eases my mind, you know. It puts my mind on something else and I don't dwell on, you know, problems. So, that's something that you could do because life is rough. And we have to know how to deal with it because it's going to come every day. You're going to have problems, you know. And you have to know how to deal with them and deal with them in a positive way. What are you cooking today? I love rice. I could just eat the rice. <laughs> and I'm actually a meat person. But sometimes I have a taste for certain foods and that's all I want. So I think, you know, like today, this rice, I love rice. I am new on this YouTube channel. Um, hey, it's your girl, Jean. And I would like it if you will like this video, that you will subscribe to my channel and share it. Tell everybody about it. And join me every day as I come up. I want to be able to speak, speak positive affirmation into your life. I want to be able to pray with you, to give you a word from the Lord, and to just eat. Sometimes I may have friends or family with me sharing um, every day life with them and what's happening with them and sometimes we may be out and about and i show you some of the things that i do daily and i would like for you to join me so don't forget hey it's your girl jean and subscribe like and share it with everyone that you know 
I would greatly appreciate that. Greatly, much greatly. The type of fish that I'm eating, this is croaker. And it has, croaker is very good. And it has a lot of bones though. So you have to be real careful. Because I know a lot of people say they don't want to fight with the, they don't want to fight with the bones. And especially when they're small bones. But I think it's still worth it because it's a good fish. How are you holding up in this this pandemic? I know that in most states they are um, laxing on the rules and everything and telling people they can go out with um, out their masks and they're letting people gather. But I want to say to you, please be careful. Still be careful because I still wear my mask and I still don't go in um, to a excuse me, to a lot of crowds. I don't trust that. I really don't. And so you still have people that's, um, that you're going to be around that are compromised. You know, they dealing with um, some, you know, sickness or there's elderly or babies in the family and you don't want to compromise them. You don't want to get them sick. So you have to still be careful. You have to do your part, you know. You have to do your part. I know with this being Memorial's weekend, I know everybody want to flock to the beach. It's probably the beach is probably filled right now, but the rain probably got everybody running for cover. And I, if it stopped raining, I don't know if it's going to stop anytime soon. They'll be back out on the water. When it's days like this, I don't go anywhere. Like everybody said, what you going to do? For Memorial Weekend, uh, stay home <laughs> because it's too many people out and about. I don't need to go anywhere. I am fine. I am fine. Yes, I do not need to go out anywhere with anybody. All, all these folks around. Mm -mm. I'm going to stay right on at home. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is so good. Mm. So refreshing. What are your plans for Memorial Day? Maybe some of my friends that are off Monday, hopefully they'll come by. If they come by, I'll put them on and have a little something to eat with them and, and we can talk to you guys. Um, I have a great group of um, friends and they're positive people. Surround yourself around positive people. The negative ones, you just have to let them go. Just because what ends up happening, if they negative all the time, then you become negative. In your thoughts, in your actions, in your speaking, you become just like them. So surround yourself around positive people that's always speaking positivity and happiness. And that's what I love. Because I'm I can be, get real silly. 
and me and my friends, we just laugh all the time. We just have a great time just enjoying each other, just talking and talking about, you know, good times and things like that. And, you know, it helps make your, your life positive. Get rid of all the negativity. I'm telling you, it just makes you a better person, makes you feel good to hear good things, you know? So I hope that, you know, you all can enjoy my channel. And as I grow and I bring you more and more things um, that um, I can be uh, help to you, you know, to help you um, to feel better, to help you to, for those who don't know the Lord, come to know the Lord, you know. I'm not here to push religion on anybody. Um, it's always the individual choice. But I love God. I like serving God. So I talk about God, you know. But I don't judge anybody else, you know. But I know without him in my life, you know, the different challenges and things that I went through, it was only through faith and grace that I am who I am and that I am here today. And so I pray today that you be open-minded, you know, be open-minded and try God. Definitely. This is so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would just well, this is actually my first time baking a croaker because I usually fry it. And I'm trying to cut down on a lot of fried foods. And so I really don't do too much. Um, but you know. I love bake. I like baking my chicken. I do all kinds. I want to share some of my recipes with you guys. You know, I had a catering before I got my last sickness. I had a catering company. And so people, you know, they like my cooking and everybody, you know, always asking me to cook this for them and that for them. And um, I don't usually cook as much as I used to, but I like to. So I'm going to share some of um, my recipes with you guys on how to fix stuff, you know, simple. Everything don't have to be hard. It could be simple. And I'm telling you, it still tastes real good. And so I want to share, I want to share those times with you guys, you know? And um, so a lot of my food, I do bake it, you know? I do, I bought an air fryer and it's certain things I like with the air fryer and it's certain things I'm like, and I don't know. It's, I, I don't know if it's the texture. Um, cause I, I tried to put, you know, everything in there just to see how it'll turn out. And if I like it, then I keep putting, you know, putting it in the air fryer. But I, and I have, of course, that crock pot, I give nothing for my crock pot because that cooks my meat so tender and I could just leave it and do other things while it's slow, you know, it's slow cooking. And so I, you know, fix a lot of things like that. But when it comes to frying something, I like my um, wings. I like fried chicken wings. And so I will fry my chicken wings and I alternate with my fish um, because it depends on what it is. Like um, with my salmon, um, I buy salmon in the can and I like to make salmon patties. So, you know, I have a, the only way I ever fixed them was to fry them. And um, like maybe if I fix a whiting, a fried, um, but use it, um, 
I bake my fish. I bake my fish. Now, this bone-in fish that I just baked, this is my first time baking croaker. It's good. It's it's good. Um, I would do it again. I would do it again. But uh, yes, and so I want to show you things that um like my casseroles that I put together. My mom used to say, girl, you just throw anything together, but it just be so good. <laughs> so I just tried different recipes. I'm one of them people. I'll try anything, you know. I'm not a uh, I'm not afraid to um I'm not afraid to try stuff like I might look at it because um my nephew um one day um uh, I was keeping him he was little then and I was talking to him I don't remember what our conversation was but he said he started laughing and I said what's funny he said auntie you are persnickety and I was like no, I'm not, because at the time I didn't understand what persnickety was. That was actually my first time ever hearing the word. And he said, yes, you are. So when he left, I went, of course, I got the dictionary because I'm like, why is he calling me that? And I looked it up. And when I saw the definition, I started laughing. I was like, yes, I am persnickety. Yes, I am. And so it's when it comes to food, I have my taste is. <laughs> and but I would try stuff. Some things, I, if it just look horrible or smell horrible, I'm not trying it. No way, Jose. No. But I will try different things. And so I have see some recipes, and I'll be like, oh, that look good. I never had that before. I'm gonna try it. Like I always wanted polenta. I always wanted that, you know, and so I never saw it in the store or anything. Finally, I went in the store and I saw some, but it was polenta that was already cooked and it was wrapped in like a, a tube-like shape. And I was like, well, I don't know if this is going to work because the recipe that I had ran across, um, you use cornmeal. So I don't know if it turned out the way it did because I used polenta that was already cooked and I should have just not used that and just went the cornmeal way, but I didn't like it. It looked so good on paper, <laughs> but I didn't like it. I was like, I'm, I'm not going to give up though because I didn't, the recipe calls for the cornmeal, not polenta already um, made. So... I'm going to try it one more time, and this time I'm going to use the cornmeal and see if it make a difference. I, I told my brother about it. He said he wanted to try it, so he came by, and I gave him just a, I gave him a big to, um, thing of it because I didn't want it. So I, didn't, I never asked him how he liked it. And I got to remember to ask him how he like it. He never told me. He, I give, I, when I try my recipes out, I tell people, come back and get this. I got this. I got that. And I be waiting for them to come back and tell me how they like it. My brother never says anything. If I see him two, three weeks later and I ask him how it was, and he'll be, oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. And I was like, I give it to you so you can test it and you can call me and let me know how you like it. But he never called me about it. It was like a, it was a polenta soup, and you use kale and um, I think it's canelli beans, and I had never had canelli beans before. But the beans was okay. It was just mm, that soup base. It just didn't work with me. So I'm going to try it one day again, and this time I'm going to do exactly as the recipe said and see how it turned out. So maybe it'll turn out better then. But anyway, I am going to go. And you guys, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. It's your girl, Jean. And share and let everybody know so that you all can join with me and we can spread cheer and hope and happiness to everyone who comes across this channel. Thank you so much and have you a blessed evening.